Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to run for president in the United States. First, you must meet the constitutional requirements. You need to be a natural born citizen of the United States. You must be at least 35 years old. You also need to have been a resident of the U.S. for at least 14 years. Next, you should start building a campaign team. This team will help you organize events and manage your campaign. You will need to file with the Federal Election Commission, FEC. This is necessary to legally raise and spend money on your campaign. And creating a campaign platform is crucial. This platform outlines your policies and goals. It helps voters understand what you stand for. You will need to participate in primary elections and caucuses. These are held by political parties to choose their nominee. And winning delegates is key in these primaries and caucuses. Delegates are representatives who support you at the national convention. Each party has a national convention where the nominee is officially chosen. And then, you must also get on the ballot in all 50 states. Each state has different rules for this. You will need to gather signatures and pay filing fees. Once you are the nominee, you will campaign across the country. This includes participating in debates and rallies. And then finally, the general election is held on the first Tuesday after the first Monday in November. If you win the majority of the electoral votes, you become the president. The Electoral College consists of 538 electors. You need at least 270 electoral votes to win. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.